Hey everybody, welcome back to Stamping School. I've got a fun bundle to show you from the upcoming mini catalog from Stampin' Up. It starts January 5th. Anybody that has ordered from me in the last six months should have gotten one in the mail this past week. And if you haven't, please let me know. And if you're new here and you're in the US and you want one, let me know that also. This was one of the first bundles that I wanted out of the mini catalog. We can pre-order it um, during December, so it was the first thing on my list. I don't know why I like word bubbles. I just do. We used to have one years ago, and my set was still in the wood blocks. It tells you how long ago it was, but I think we had dies with it, and I still have it here somewhere. I just love them. It's got lots of occasions, and the dies are really, really good. So they cut out everything, and then Several of them are like doing double duty because they have like an etched little ring around them. So that, for instance, like this one, it will cut this ring, or this outline, and then it also does the solid. So when you cut this, you get two of these. They'll cut them out so you can cut them in different colors and flip flop them and I'll show you some ideas with those. So this is one die, this is one die one die, one die, one die, and then all these are just individuals. And they even have this little flowers dies that go with this little cutie. So everything in here gets cut out. And there's some extras like uh, two dies that have little hearts on them, so they cut out four hearts. And they just go with so many things. So here's what all the stamps look like. They're nice and bold, they stamp really nicely. I love that there's a bunch of blank ones in there. There's even an open-ended die that just is a long skinny die that will cut out a bubble for going like at the top of a card. So you could put as big of a greeting up here as you want. The first thing I like to do is cut all the dies and stamp everything. And then I like to save this piece just because I can go through my catalog and figure out what fits where. So for instance, like on this cute little songbird bundle, I can find a greeting, like a little note of thanks. There's ladybugs. I mean, literally, you just go through and figure out what fits. And that's kind of half the fun. And then I also like to stamp it on vellum. If I do it on vellum, then I can figure out which ones fit over which. You can kind of figure it out, but I like to see what will fit and what won't, how it all looks together. And then I just keep these in the stamp set, sort of fold them or cut them or whatever, but it's a nice handy way to see what fits. Now the bundle is on page 39, I believe, in that new mini catalog. And this sample is almost spot on with a sample that they did in the catalog and I loved it. So it really shows how you can use the relief of the die and then still cut out the parts and pieces. I love this new paper. It's just a really sweet card. You can do this as Valentine or anything. So this is one of the free bee stamp sets that's coming out in January and February. It's called Adorable Owls. It's free with a $50 order. And they always do some kind of cute critters for celebration and this time, so cute. So I used the speech bubbles on this one, colored them in and I used mint macaron paper and I just embossed some white on it. They were really fun to color, super cute. So the project for today looks like this. So I have a different version that I started with first, but in the end, I think I like this one. My idea for this was that when they open it, I would be able to say, oh, what a surprise, because somebody recently gave me something I wasn't expected, so I thought I'd send them a thank you note. So I'd be like, oh, what a surprise. Yay, I love it and thank you, and then write my little note here. So this is kind of what happened when I got the gift. Oh, yay, thank you. <laughs> it's so applicable. This was the first one that I did, and the paper was busy, and you kinda, I kinda lost that. But what I liked about it is, especially this one, it kind of snaps in there because I have them raised up. Hear it? <laughs> and that's what the inside looked like. Now this paper is new, it's called Regency Park. I love it, it's six by six paper that's coming out in that mini catalog. So look at all these great bold patterns. I love navy, give me navy anytime, I love it. 
all these fun floral prints. And then on the back are all the tone on tone subtles. So I ended up using this one first, but then it was a little much. So then I turned it over and I'm gonna use this one. Oh, here's another little sneaky peek. My friend Janet sent me this one. This is using that same Regency Park paper and it's a St. Patrick's Day stamp set that's in there. Look at that with a punch. Isn't that cool? It's been a long time since we had a St. Patrick's Day stamp. I love this. All right, back to this. There's a few steps with this. You have to put the paper on first and then cut the holes in it. So the inspiration for this came when I was looking at this and I thought, ooh, that would make some fun little windows. So we have to cut the little holes once the paper is on there. Here's a tip though. If you don't glue it down too much, we can use this little border that's gonna be cut along with the front. I'll show you. I hated covering that side up. But just tack, tack it down just a wee bit. You can do the middle, that's fine, but avoid this area right here because we're gonna use that blue ring that cuts. So this is a three by five and a quarter piece. So that works out good on the six by six sheets. So you get two of them. And then I cut a one inch piece that will go right next to it. Just, just to add that floral in there. Right. Now when you run it through your machine, you wanna go this way with it. But this is how it's gonna look. You're gonna put one wherever you want them really. One here, one here and right here. Now I put a little bit of low tack tape on them, painter's tape, something, and I know that I'm gonna cut out the inside, so that's where I put my tape. So I don't want it to tear if it does happen to lift. Right to the inside and to the inside. Okay, and then I'll go run that through my machine, my die cutting machine this way. So here's my parts and pieces. And this is what I meant with this one right here. See how it cuts the ring also? We wanna keep that. This one's a little bit crooked, but that's okay. Now the second trip through the machine, we need to stamp these in white and cut those out either by hand or with the dies, the same dies that we did the holes with. Piece of white on the inside. It's coming together. We need to take this paper off. There's a little bit of glue at the top. That's why I said try to avoid the glue. We'll take that off so we can use this piece. And we're gonna put just a wee bit of glue right along the edges. Put your card down and then slide that right in the spot, right where it's supposed to go. It's gonna be exactly the same size. It's the same die. Then dimensionals on the back of the one that we cut out and that fits right in there. And then these, I didn't put anything behind it. I just went like that, stuck it in there. There'll be a little bit of relief around it, but you could do yellow or a different color or the, another blue right there. My little crooked O. <laughs> and then I just added some twine around this way and tied it up. I was gonna do ribbon. There's some new ribbon coming out also, it's navy but it just seemed kind of heavy, so I left it like that. And then on the inside, I just had a little half piece left over. I just stuck that there. I was gonna cut out some of the flowers from the paper, little bits and pieces left, but they were really tedious to cut out. So I may wait till I get the Regency Park stamp set and dies before I do all of that. But that still leaves room for me to write my little notes. And that's it. I like this one a lot. And I really like the owls. I think those are really fun to color. Well, that's it, everybody. We'll see you next time. See it, learn it, stamp it.